And welcome back, everybody, to Ragecraft 3 The Prophecy. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, back in this nasty, nasty place. Yes, indeed. So, I am actually doing another voiceover. I did one on a bonus video, and I'm doing this one now because I ordered a bunch of new computer stuff, you guys. Um, let's see here. I'm, I, I got the new mic. I'm getting a mic stand and other audio stuff that's going to help me hopefully clean clean up some of this background noise and whatnot and i got a new processor um you know i really wanted to go for the skylake but uh, i would have to upgrade everything at that point <laughs> pretty much so i opted for just the uh the i7 devil's canyon which which um given the processing that I'm doing and um, that kind of stuff I figured it would come in useful I eventually plan on upgrading my my video card as well but that's gonna have to wait until the next paycheck uh, so anyways I'm gonna be doing all of this this computer work over the next couple days probably as long as everything shows up fine and it's working and so I needed to record a, a, a couple of videos ahead of time and the only way to do that was to record whenever things are very noisy at my at my house. We we experienced a little bit of that last episode. Uh, so I actually, uh, what you're seeing right now, I uh, occurred right after I recorded the the last episode. So yes, it was very noisy. Lots of going in and out and slamming doors and kids playing in the background. Very very happy fun times, but not something you want to hear whenever you're trying to watch a a playthrough of a CTM map. All right, so you guys, I'm uh, I'm here. I'm getting things. I am looking mainly for the route to intersection two. That's all I care about. Um, at this point, I'm ignoring a lot of the loot. I have no need for for armor at this point. I mean, having armor that doesn't break that allows me to jump and go fast. Like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna have need for armor again in the map. I mean, it's only a leather. But even uh, full leather with protection 4 is pretty dang good. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Um, yeah. So, I'm passing up a lot of loot. Uh, I hear the ghast. I, this is the tower that I saw whenever I initially came into this building. And it, again, it says path to intersection 2. This is the outpost. And it says that there are three emeralds, so I am mainly trying to get those three emeralds and then make it to intersection two. Uh, I sorry, I should be reading that right now, huh? Something, something, monster, something or other. There's a monster in there, or monsters. There's a monster problem. People are so afraid, so afraid. I always find it amusing to see people's reactions to like mobs and. Some people really freak out in this game, and granted, my first day in this game was spent hiding in a little tiny cobble block fortress that I had made. So I find this room and I'm a little confused, but those could potentially be useful, I guess. I don't know. I, I, again, I'm going really fast. I'm just... I, ha I don't have to worry about commentary. I can just run and do my thing. And, uh hope to stay alive and at this point I realized okay the skeletons have punch bows and I had decided um, perhaps not really considering what, what I might run into I had decided to leave my knockback resistance stuff behind that may that may have been a mistake I guess we'll we'll just have to see um, in case you didn't know, Helicio actually turns off fire tick in all of his maps, so things can't burn down. Um, so that's, I don't know, that's kind of nice. I think I'm just like, okay, it's a big hole. I think this is the route, most likely, to intersection 2, so I just go straight for it. And it turns out, no, no, this is this is just a big hole full of nasty things and, a, and, a, and an emerald. There is an emerald there, so that's nice. And I'm just like, let it up and let's, uh, let's uh, kill the things. Very nice. I see the redstone, and I immediately start thinking, okay, is there another redstone quest? Or um, or what? Because this is a lot of redstone. Which I enjoy, because if I get potions that aren't extended, I always want to extend them. And get the most out of them. 
Yes, kill, kill the spiders. I don't have antidotes on me, by the way, because what happened last episode, as I was informed by a wonderful, wonderful viewer, uh, apparently I, I shift clicked it. I, I, I shift clicked it. I shift clicked the antidote potions out of my hotbar. Or I use my, my hotkeys to, to, to click something in or whatever, but doing that will separate the potions because they're not intended to stack. So, kind of, uh, kind of screwed myself over there. And this place seems really large and confusing to me at first, but it's really not. Like, once, once you kind of figure out the, how it's laid out, but... I mean, Helicio does a really good job of making areas feel much larger than they are, and, um, and much more confusing than they really are, too. I'm playing really... <laughs> I was kind of, um, kind of upset, I guess, that I wasn't able to record my voice, but, uh, namely, I wanted to get the videos out, and then, also, I was just really... I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm in. Ah, there, there goes my stutter. I'm enjoying the map a lot, and so, uh, oh gosh, yes, I messed up with the Ender Pearls. I'm just like, man, you know, I just want to play, you guys. So I was kind of being a bit carefree uh, with my playstyle and trying to enjoy myself and try not to think too much or. Or do too much, really. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, just destroy this place. I just wanted to, and I realize now that there's a trap. It did indeed open up a trap. I don't know what's happening, but a trap opened. So I'm just like, okay, well, I got a cool sword at least. I might die right now, but, but, uh, and I want that redstone because that'll save me a lot of mining. And I see now that it has opened up a big room full of uh, poisonous spiders. I'm surprised the clay didn't break there, although it does have a pretty high blast resistance. So. And I thought I was probably going to die here. And I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to go for it. Just, just come on, you guys. Just bring it on. Try to kill me. Try to do it. I'm wearing nothing but leather armor. And if I need to, I will jump over you, but uh, otherwise, I see that hole up there thinking that they might be falling from there, but I don't think they were. I think they were just, they had spawned out here. So, battle. Yes, battle. I love it whenever the arrows bounce off like that. It, it always amuses me. It's like, oh no, the, the mobs have become invincible. They are bulletproof, arrowproof. Yep, go ahead and explode, guy. Whatever. I got, I got the sword. I guess that's all that was back here. So I figured I should probably leave at this point. I'm trying to use these potions that I got, um, even though I'm not very good at using the offensive potions. Um, I, I try to, especially because they seem like they're really useful against the undead. These particular ones that I'm using, the. Uh, Purification potions, which he brought back from RC2, from, from Ragecraft 2. Here's another place, so I close the door just to be polite. Always, uh, always close the door, you know? And another emerald, I see. So I grab that one. And I think I just get out of here. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, you guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. I will see you later. I'm going to jump off here. Yes, and we go and jump and keep jumping. Just keep going. I'm out of torches. Let's hop in this tree and, and exchange for some glowstone. Why, why don't we? Oh, there's a place down there that we don't want to fall down to. And by the way, I'm pretty sure the place down there... Yes, I almost died. That was a close one. Uh, is the uh, uh, the breeding grounds. Because I, I saw torches down there. So I was like, oh, okay. But I, I didn't see that whenever I looked, looked up. I might see the light now, I guess. Now that I've lit it up. I don't know. I love... He has such a great... Um, mine for level design. I mean, the guy... I remember Vex talking about Inferno Mines and how it was like this layered dungeon. And Inferno Mines, actually, the, the layout is... is A lot of the, the level design and, and layout is nice and how it all goes together. But, um, I mean, Helicio just does some really amazing... 
things in terms of how he organizes his map and how he puts it together, uh, both on a, on a small scale level, on individual levels uh, or areas, and also on a large scale uh, in terms of how the map fits together. At least usually he does that. And yep, I'm just like, okay, low on health, there's these gas, there's a lot of mobs. I'm in what what seems to be a new area, and I think that this goes back down to the breeding grounds too, and I realize, oh no, this is something else. And I see the sign, and I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm just like, I made it. I just jumped my way through that whole area. What the heck? And I've been having that reaction a lot in this map where um I seem to make it through areas really quickly. Which I know isn't isn't totally unusual for me, but I don't know. Like and and I'm finding emeralds uh, much easier as well, perhaps because they're marked, I guess. But overall, the map just seems to be moving a lot quicker. Even though I think by now in Ragecraft 2, I was I was already in Intersection 2 and nearly in Intersection 3 by Episode 11. So. I mean, it's not actually moving faster, but it feels like it is. The The beginning was really slow, but other than that, like once I kind of got a feel for the map and a feel for, for what tricks I was going to encounter. So anyways, I, I discover Intersection 2 and I, I get the teleporter back and, um, and then I decided to kind of scope things out and um, see what the intersection has to offer as far as secrets, which is usually something I do in my bonus episodes, but... I saw the rail and I was like, huh, okay, where does, where does this go? And then I saw that it leads down <laughs> and that the, the track is broken, which is very nice. I mean, again, um, a lot of map makers are good at a couple of things, but Helicio is very well-rounded. And he still excels, I think, at things like level design and aesthetics. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, map is beautiful and entertaining and challenging it's just throwing all three of those things together is often uh, and experimental i mean he's experimenting with a lot of new mechanics too so doing that all at once is pretty amazing i guess i took a little break here Now, I was hoping that I had set off most of the spawners running through this area, but that obviously was not true. I see that he did take out the, the speed slash nausea potions, which I was kind of disappointed about, but I know that the nausea effect is probably, I don't know, maybe even Mojang should rethink that one. I, I like the idea, and I, in fact, like it, but I know a lot of people struggle with the... Uh, the motion sickness it causes and whatnot. So, anyways, by the way, I'm yes, I am still sick, you guys. I'm very, very congested. I'm still all hopped up on cough syrup. I got really pissed off right here. I don't know. I didn't see a chest there, but perhaps it was from above. And so once the creeper started falling, I was like, gosh, dang it! There better not be an emerald in there. Better not be an emerald. Um, that's also why I've come back to this area is to try to find that third emerald, if possible. Uh, I'm ignoring a lot of the other loot. I don't know if I'll ever come back for it. Um, as I explained, just I don't seem to have a need for much of anything at this point. Uh, besides some of the more basic resources, which I don't mind, like coal and wood and uh, blocks and and that kind of stuff, food. Anyways, this is going to be a short episode. Um, once again, I'm trying to record kind of like two episodes ahead so that uh, I can get my computer all together and, and make sure it's working and, and get all settings in, in the right places and whatnot and get my mic stand set up. I got, I got, I got a lot to do, you guys. <laughs> I, I spent a lot of money for you all, so hopefully, uh, and mainly it's for me. I like, you know. This is my main my main hobby, besides cooking probably, but it's my main hobby. Um, besides that, far more essential hobby of preparing meals for your family, <laughs> um, and so I wanted to 
do it the best that I can and, and make it good, make a good video and overall just, just have fun with it. And, you know, right now my video editing capabilities are somewhat limited, so perhaps with the new processor, uh, I also got some more fans to keep things cool and whatnot. I'll be able to, uh, put out some videos in 1080. I, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of people struggle to watch videos of really high quality when they, when they don't have the technology to do so. So if they have a really slow internet connection or just a bad computer or whatever. Um, and so part of me is like, like the teacher in me, who's always trying to help out, you know, the, the students who, who come from the, the least, not a, as some kind of like, oh, I must save the children type thing, but just because like, obviously they need it the most, right? Um, or I mean, not, that sounds bad. I'm, I'm okay. Um, I mean, I just try to keep those things in mind that I, there are a diverse array of people out there in the world and, uh, trying to connect with all of them and keep, keep all of them happy and entertained can be, can be difficult. Uh, so I like, I'm, part of me is like, do I want to do 1080p? 60 frames per second because some people I know struggle to to watch those kinds of videos. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do um, I do want to check and see if it's even possible. That would be nice That would be very nice indeed. Oh, I'm on fire My wife she watched the last voiceover and she said yeah, you know, it's like you talk a lot more and the commentary like overall was kind of more entertaining but she likes to see my in the moment uh reactions and i kind of agree um although to be honest i was i would have been so silent because i was like in the zone whenever i was recording this i was just so uh here an, an, another break apparently Yeah, I just, uh, even once I was done recording this one, I wanted to keep playing, but figured would probably not be a good idea. My plan actually is to set up my mic, um, my, my shock, shock stand, shock filter. What do they call it? Shock stand. I think just, just showed up. So, um, I'm going to get all that set up and record the second video. And everything else should be here by tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I see this is how careless I was being. I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to drop down into this room, even though I clearly see that there's a mob. Yes, and I think, don't I find, or maybe, did, did I already find it? There it is. There it is. There's the third emerald. So I got all three from this area. I got all six. So far, I'm 100% on the emeralds, uh, as, as far as I know. There are five extra in the map, I do believe. Uh, but I don't know if any of the extra emeralds have shown up yet or not. I get kind of lost in the area at this point. I'm just like, where in the heck am I supposed to go? Again, honestly, just... Um, and you know, I, I can put on the uh, a, a knockback resistance chest plate and still have speed plus jump. And at that point, I'll, I'll lose the resistance, yes. But at that point, oh gosh, you guys, I think um, there's music playing. There's music playing through my headphones. Oh my gosh. Uh, at that point, though, I think that uh, yeah, with protection four on everything, I don't think it'll matter the resistance very much. So, having the um, the knockback resistance will be much much more powerful. And yeah, if I can run and jump everywhere with knockback resistance, and n not have to worry about my armor degrading, I'm really surprised so far that this one has a higher difficulty rating. The only thing that seems to be more difficult about it is um, some of the more natural resources like like coal. Uh, yeah, see, I just, I don't care. I'm just like, let's just, let's just hurry it up. Let's jump everywhere. And I think at this point, 
even though I had that final emerald, I wanted to give you guys the names of all the different areas, and I wanted to give you a sneak peek at one of the areas. Well, I was just kind of curious. It wasn't really about you guys. It was about me. I, I, once again, I was still very, very anxious to continue playing, and I was actually thinking about uh, making the video go on a bit longer where I actually start to go into this next area, but I'm clearly not prepared for that. Uh, I, th I think I have like 30 torches or something, so. And not not that much food. I have plenty of mushrooms back at my base. But I do make it a little ways in here just to kind of get a sense of what I'm going to be taking on. Um, I saw that sign back there. And you can read these signs. Essentially what it's saying is that these are the dwarves. These are the dwarves from Ragecraft 2 that were in um, the Little Empire area and also showed up in the uh, the hunting grounds. And so you can see that their little village starts right there. And I really wanted to go in, but I decided not to. But I was like, you know what? Because those signs threaten me. They pretty much say, like, do not enter our area or you shall die. And I was like, you know what, little dwarves? You know what, you little stinking gnomes? You ain't got nothing on me. I'm just going to blow up your dang signs. I'm going to blow them up. I don't care. You're just a bunch of little guys. A bunch of little guys with an ego problem. You got you suffer from a Napoleon complex. I kind of suffer from that too, I think, because I'm kind of short. Not short. I'm supposedly average, average height. Five foot eight, but you know. It, it still feels short. Average height for an American male, by the way, not not like on a global scale. And then I was like, okay, let's just jump around, do a little dance, and uh, celebrate our victory. That's going to be it for me for today, guys. I apologize for the voiceover. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Hey.